tires. Today we're going to be tying an extended body Mayfly. And the one we're doing today is going to be a red quill. It's almost Hendrix in season. And this particular fly catches finicky fish. They see a lot of standard parachutes going by and uh, maybe some traditional Catskills. And this fly separates itself from the others with the extended body. And how we create this is by taking your bobkin or dubbing needle and placing two fibers, tailing fibers, in between your fingers and the actual dubbing needle to the length that you want as far as your tail would be. And then you take your favorite red quill dubbing, and mine is a mixture of rust and um, gray olive. And you can see, you put it on very, very thin. You take it between your fingers like such, and you roll it right on the botkin like this. And you just, you keep on going on it until you get a nice, full, but not too thick. You want these bodies to be thin. Little piece right here. That's going to be your body once we're done. You keep on adding very, very thin strands. And right up to the point, bring it down. And get it nice and tight so it looks like the bod like a body. And the finishing part of this is you take Dave's Fleximent, take another botkin, and you just coat this very, very sparsely. Just let so it penetrates in like such. Okay, when that's done, when it's pretty well coated, you reform it with your fingers like this. And then give it a second or two and slide it right off. And I usually have wax paper, but for now I have some already pre-made. So you set this aside on the wax paper to dry. And that would be your extended body. So once that is fully dried, we use a hook that is called the C13U Key Balance. It's made by Gamagatsu. It's a short shank with a wide gap. And it's, it's imperative to use this hook because of the shape of it for this particular fly. And you take your tying thread and you tie it on the rear end of the fly itself. And I have a couple of these already made that have been dried out. And you take it like such and you put it extending about the size of the actual bug that you want and you lash this onto the shank of the hook. Okay, when I do it I like to lift up the tail like this and put a couple of wraps behind it and what that does is it elevates the tail so it looks like a mayfly. Trim off the excess that's up towards the eye and now we have the same dubbing that we created that body with. We're going to use that to fill up this area once we put the post on, okay? For the post, I use any kind of poly or aero dry winging material and, you know, get a nice, nice, uh, thick post and tie it on like such. trim it off and what I do is I take my dubbing of the same color again of course and I wrap from the eye back up standing up the post as we go Filling out the body nice and thick, so it looks just like a mayfly body. And take your time doing this. Make sure it's it's done right, so it looks good because it's very key to the presentation. And I lift this up again and swing one underneath. So now that we have the body and the wing on, we're going to finish this fly off. And I make a couple of wraps, you know, attach it on and have a little added dubbing on here 
which I will fill in the low and high spots. And you wrap forward towards the eye. And lash on your hackle for your parachute. Like such. And trim this off. Any little hairs that might be sticking up, you can get those now too. Whip finish. Trim this. Pull your wing forward a little bit to straighten it out. Make sure all the fibers are scattered nice and evenly around. And now you trim your wing. I like to turn it upside down. That way you can see how long the shank of the hook is. And then I, I cut it on an angle. And then I take this part, I turn it up, right? And then I round this off up on top. So it actually looks a little bit like a wing instead of just a piece cut off. And there we go. An extended body and you look this way you can see the profile that the fish is seeing he's seeing the split tails the nice body coming up the legs and the wing